Nikola Jokic was the big joker last night, Michael Holly. Not the one with the writing on it, but the one the one that's colored in, the big joker. Mm. With 47 points, 15 rebounds, and 8 assists against Memphis, becoming the first center with at least 45, 15, and 8 since Hakeem Olajuwon in 1996. That's what you call an, MB, an MVP statement. And there was there's some people, I, I, I've had Jokic as MVP all along, as MVP frontrunner all along. There are some people um, who have tried to qualify it or <clears throat> affix an asterisk next to his MVP candidacy. I ain't saying no names. You've been but both people. Some of us have recognized You've been both of that them. his numbers... <laughs> As well as <laughs> as numbers, hold on, hold on, hold on. as numbers, as well as the fact that he's played in every game, uh, you know, on a contending team, clearly making an MVP. I'm not, I'm not sure why I have to keep telling you that um, over and over again. Right. You are hard headed. You've been you've trying had to get James Harden, mama. You know, you had James Harden as your MVP front runner. Then, Michael, they don't speak sarcasm where you from. They don't speak sarcasm where you uh, from. Oh, listen, listen. Hold what on. country? I just you want from? to point out. I want to point out a couple of things. <laughs> I, I want to point out a couple of things. What? What? You had James Harden. Not only that, though. Yeah. Not only that. Not only that. You've kind of. I can understand your your counter argument, but you've kind of dismissed. You've kind of dismissed Jokic. I'm like, well, he's available. Never dismissed him. I never dismissed him. I never dismissed him. I never did that. I never did that. I simply pointed out that everybody in the MVP conversation has been disqualified because of bad luck in a truncated, compressed, the most challenging of seasons since, I don't know, last season when they were in a bubble, but physically taxing season, I'm just pointing out that Jokic is going to win it on his own merit, but also okay. somewhat by default, somewhat. But I've never taken that away from the season good. that he's had. But I will say this. I will say this. That's not a backhanded compliment. He's been brilliant. He was brilliant again last night. He's going to be awfully hard to catch. But I'll be damned if Steph Curry ain't trying. And this is not me giving him the MVP award right now. I'm not, I'm not inserting right. Steph Curry in the I MVP conversation. That's yeah. not what I'm about to do. Despite the fact that he is trying to join Harden, Elgin Baylor, Kobe, and Wilt as the only players to average 40 points for a calendar month. Um which he's doing so far in April, having overtaken Bradley Beal for the NBA scoring lead. I'm going to say that whether Jokic wins, he'll, Jokic will probably win MVP. But Steph will be remembered as this season's premier performer. Like this will be a, when we look back on this season, some of us may remember that Nikola Jokic was MVP. Some of us will not. I'm not one of those people who can name every M, M, NBA NBA MVP every season. But I know I'll never forget what I'm watching from Steph Curry right now. So right. Uh, I am prone to hyperbole when it comes to Steph. You've given me grief for calling him the most entertaining and the greatest showman in the history of team sports. So I'm wow. going to step back yeah. and I'm going to give you the mic because you're the wordsmith. Uh, you're the author. I'm going to let you attempt to describe what we're watching from Steph Curry right now. Look, I you, you say I'm the author and the wordsmith, but I don't have the words to kind of paint this portrait of what I'm seeing. And what I put in the feed, Mike, and you tell me if you agree with this. I can't remember what the long shot was like. I can't remember what the three ball was like before Steph because he is so changed the landscape of, peri of, the, of perimeter shooting and perimeter, that's an understatement. What he is doing ha I'll, is I'll opening, answer. he has opened up the entire court. And so I'd say pre-Steph. You know what, the, uh, let, let me answer it real quick. You know what the three-pointer was like before Steph? What was that? In theory, in theory, it was challenging. That's why, they, that's why it was awarded <laughs> three. In theory, it's yep. supposed to be difficult. It's not supposed to be as easy as he makes it look. It's effortless oh my the goodness. way he shoots the ball from any distance made, off the dribble. I, and we have we have that stat there. Okay, 30, 30 points in ten straight games. You mentioned averaging forty four a month, and that's select company there. I think it's up to, I think it's eleven thing. straight now. I think it's eleven straight uh, games. Uh, okay, now. 
How about a small detail? I think he's made yeah. 46, 46 threes in his last four games. I switch it around. 72 in his last 10. 72 in his last 10. Like, this is, it's not just that he is accurate from three. It's not just that he's a guy and go into a three-point shooting contest and you say he's probably going to win it. We've seen that before. We saw that from his father. We saw that from his, his head coach, Steve Kerr. We've seen three ball shooters before. Reggie Miller, Steve Kerr, uh, Del Curry, Ray Allen. We've seen some great shooters throughout the years from long distance. Larry Bird. But he has moved it back. He's gone back. Like When we talk about dunkers, we talk about guys who, who go higher. We talk about yeah. three-point shooting. It's guys who have extended it from, say, Craig Hodges was another one, great three-ball shooter. We're talking about guys who take it from 23, 24 feet to 30. Like, seriously, this was not, not you've got to change. Coaches have had to change their strategy. If you go back, and if you don't yeah. believe me, go back and watch a game from, say, 1995. Watch a game from 95. Three-point shot was there. You had these some of these shooters that I mentioned. I'll go 1998 because all the people I mentioned were playing in 98. Ray, Reggie, uh, Kerr, all those guys. Watch a game from 1998 and see how defenders are guarding these shooters. You're not up on the guy from the at the logo. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. You're not up on a guy. But, from even, 30. but here's the thing. He's so gifted, even even when they're on him, like. The, the 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 shot that put the game away against your Sixers last night, George Hill was up on him, and his handles are so slick to where he can create just a sliver of space to get his shot off. Michael, this is how important it is to be watching and appreciating what Steph Curry's doing right now. When I say important, I mean it literally. So last night, I was um, I was um, lecturing Mason um, before he went to bed. Man, um, and he went to he, he went like, to bed. Boy. Tell Mason, tell Mason, Uncle Michael's gonna what? call. Uncle Michael, and we sure. okay. and, and you know, look, come on, like he he needs a different voice yeah. now. Da Dad's daddy's been wearing wearing him out a little Maybe. bit. Okay, Maybe. he needs he needs Maybe. he needs a voice Maybe of reason. For that. But okay, but but here's what happened. So, I'm lecturing Mason. I send him to bed, and game's tight toward the end. I turn on the game. And he, my son's a, he's asleep at this point. I'm like, Mason, come here. <laughs> he thinks he's in trouble again. <laughs> like, I need you to watch the end of this game. You need to watch this. So he sits at the end of the bed, and he's watching the greatest showman do his thing. Um, again, probably not going to be most valuable player, but most memorable performer um, for this season. And... I, what's so awesome about it, because somebody asked me this recently, I did a podcast recently, and they asked me, like, what is it about this stuff that makes him the best version that we've seen, or at least the most fun version that we've seen? Why is this the most fun that we're having watching Steph? I was like, because he seems to be having the most fun. It's a challenging season. They're fighting for playoff positioning. But what I see is a player who is playing with such, he's always played with joy. But now it's freedom. Okay, now, now it's freedom. Um, it's, 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 it's gratitude. You know, I think, you know, we talk about it takes separation and bring appreciation to how grateful we are to have him back after missing him right. last season for all but five games. I see somebody who's grateful to be out there, who's enjoying himself, who's enjoying these circumstances in a way that maybe he couldn't in the last several years when the expectation every year was that they were going to compete and win a championship. They were going through the playoff grind and then and, and, and through the finals and obviously got hurt last year. And to think there were some people suggesting that this season somehow he had something to prove. That he had to prove if he was really that dude based on how he played when he wasn't surrounded by stars like, you know, uh, Kevin Durant or Klay Thompson. And I, I see just the opposite. I see somebody who's playing like he has nothing to prove, and he knows it. You know, I see somebody who's just out there right. getting a kick out I of himself, even if it's at the expense of his brother. There should be a law against that. <laughs> that should be illegal. Yeah. 
There should be some kind of NBA rule against that. You shouldn't be able to abuse family like that. On, yeah, that, 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 was, that was just wrong. They just, I'm like, they just made it I'm public. Like, Man, like, what kind of con what's those conversations they do that like all, after the fact? They probably grew up doing that. They grew up doing that. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. This See, is, we have to is fight, our bro. way. See, we'd have to fight. We'd have to fight. I'm gonna tell you about that time my little oh. brother slapped me uh, across the face on stage in elementary school. We did a play on stage. I don't know who casted this play. On stage, in front of the whole elementary school, I remember it. Oh, but I remember he, it like it was, was yesterday. He was in character. He, too much. I mean, you know he's an actor. So, yeah, he was a little too committed. He was so, a method actor in so this, the, in this the moment. Script, so, the he, script they, they casted him, him as the you? dad. He okay. was the dad. No, he probably improv it, knowing him. Jackass. Um, he, he, he was the dad, and yeah. I'm the son, and he slapped me. In front of the whole school. <laughs> You know, and because I, I, because I got restraint. That's well, great. Yeah, great for you to like. Funny to you, funny to him. wasn't so funny to me getting slapped across the face by my little my brother two years younger than me. So, but I, I, I held my own. I mean, I, I restrained myself because I knew if I beat him down, then my mama was gonna jump on me when I got home. So I let him live, right? But what I'm, I'm saying is, if I'm Seth Curry, we got to have a talk. Like, say, man, do that on somebody else, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Not on your own flesh and blood. That's all I'm saying. So. Hey, anyway. but you know what? And this is the other thing. He slapped you. Well, like, what, what, first of all, dude, was, this a, was this a 35? Or is it younger? No, this wasn't high school. This was elementary okay. school. Elementary, elementary school. Elementary school. Yeah, this is Bienville okay. Elementary School. We were like, I think I was like in sixth grade. He was in like fourth grade or something like that. That is so funny. You got video? Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no, no video back then. But I remember hey, it. No, but what, I remember but it. What's great, I, though? I, I, I remind him of it all the time. What's great about Steph, the other thing, you, you started to mention it. You talk about the handle. Mm. Now, I know a lot of people have been critical of him, yeah. especially when they lost that, um, when they lost, but when they, the, the second time went to, when, when the Cavaliers had to come back, down 3-1. Yeah, 3-1. Durant's yep. not there. Yep. And yeah. I know a lot of people were critical of him behind the back passes, just being a little yes. too casual with the ball. He was. Okay. He, he's done that. And that's fair. But he is he is the not only is he the best three point shooter, as you said a couple of weeks ago, that's not even an argument. If you start an argument there, you just want to argue for the sake of for the sake of hey, hearing. And he, here's something else. That hasn't been an argument for a long time. It's not even that an argument. That hasn't been an argument for a long time. I can't even think of anybody. It has it, it, I can't think of anybody. I don't it's I don't not, remember when it was an argument. It's not even a conversation. But we know he's the three he's the best shooter of all time, but for the best of, of three-point shooters, a lot of those guys needed somebody to set them up. Like you say, yeah. hey, don't let Reggie get the ball in that position. And no, what's, nobody, what's nobody's done it off the dribble like him. Somebody need to get Reggie the ball. But what's so dangerous yeah. about Steph is he can call his own shot. He doesn't necessarily need you to set him up. He knows how to set himself and up. All, he did. He, did that a couple times. I mean, those last screens, night where behind the back, do you cannot separation you, and yeah. all needs a little bit. You can't fall back. You can't fall back on a screen against him. You know, and it because it's you think you got him, and, but obviously you got to respect his ability to drive past you. It's it, it's there's Steve Kerr said it. Doc Rivers said it. So say what you want about what I've said about him. We've never seen anybody like this. I think I, I don't think that's debatable. We've never seen anybody do what he's doing right now. Michael, just to just to dumb this down all the way, dude's yeah. made 72 threes in the last 10 games. I don't think I've made 72 three pointers in my life. Mm. And I'm not just talking about in a game. I'm talking about in practice. I'm talking about in the backyard. I'm talking about in the video game. I don't think I've made 72 pointers, 72 three pointers in general. He's made 72 three-pointers in the last 10 games. I mean, it's, it's like I said earlier, it's not supposed to be that easy. I mean, the three-pointer, in theory, is supposed to be harder, and he's shooting it like he's shooting a layup. And the other All thing right, is, I, I, know I know coming into the season, you want, you want to declare this dynasty dead. You want to declare yeah, this is. dynasty dead. It's over. Okay. It is. Oh, I know you're going to double down on that. Okay. No, well, I'm just saying, look, Mike. I'm a little disappointed. Mike, how you... can you? Mike. It, what's he? He's 33, right? You got it. the kid from Akron at 33, something like that? He's 
he's th wait, he's 33. Let me, let me point this out to you real quick. This is how you know you're good. And people get annoyed by this, but I'll allow it in this context because of the people involved. A lot of people get annoyed because, especially with LeBron James, how it feels like we're inventing milestones or inventing records. It's like when you got when it takes you forever to explain the record, probably not a real record, but that's okay. <laughs> you know you're doing something right when it's 11 straight games of 30 or more points, points most by any player over 33, <laughs> breaking a record set by Kobe Bryant. Like I didn't yeah. even know that was a record, but okay, I'll allow yeah, it because of Steph and Kobe. But yes, 33 yeah. year old All right. kid from Akron. So he's the second best kid from Akron. It goes LeBron, Steph, yes. and then you have to be, you have to settle for third, Michael Holland. You have to settle for third. Uh, I'll, I'll take that. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad to be in the conversation. Um, but I would say he's he's 33. You've got Clay missed another season. Uh, Durant's gone. Uh, Draymond is slowing down. Mm -hmm. Where's this? Like, where's it coming from? You just you expect James Wiseman to come back next year healthy, a, a, a second-year player. You expect Clay to come back and just pick up where he left off. He hasn't played in the NBA game in a couple of years. Yes, uh, I don't see it. I just don't see it. So it was fun, yeah, and I, I will stand. I'll stand by this. We we got a lot of superlatives today. Steph Curry, best three-point shooter I've ever seen, best shooter I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> Clearly, the best ball handler for a three-point shooter I've ever seen. Three-point shooters don't handle the ball mm -hmm. like this. And I'll say the Golden State Warriors, they have supplanted the 96 Bulls and the 86 Celtics. If I say the best team I've ever seen, it was pick, pick, pick one. Either the, one of the Kevin Durant championship teams. Pick one. The Warriors with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, best basketball team I've seen in my life. But it's over. Wait a minute. We need to. We, I think we need to unpack that. Okay. So unpack it. You say ha, you say you say have supplanted the 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 ninety six Bulls or the eighty six yes. Celtics. Yes. Has supplanted as of now, or they this you felt this you felt this way for several years. Uh, well, when I saw the Warriors, when I saw them win the first time with Durant and the second time with Durant, okay. I said, I haven't seen a basketball team this good in my life. I've never seen it. Oh, okay. Okay, and, cool. I, I'll just making sure that, like, Steph's performance now, you weren't retroactively applying oh, no, what no, Steph no, is doing no, no, I'm talking about the team. Oh, okay. No, I'm talking about, yeah, no, I'm no, saying, like, there are a lot of superlatives about the, the, the Warriors and Steph, but it's over. I mean, like, you can't. You they keep saying it like it's run. like it's factual. Okay, it is. so check this out. Steph Curry, th there there are plenty of people who didn't think he still had this in him. He had a lot of doubters. I don't know, I don't know why it seemed like it now because they're real quiet. He may be playing the best basketball he's ever played, and his game is not one where you got to question or not whether he can do it for a num a another few years or more. He's got he's he's had an old man game since him. he was young. I'm not questioning okay, him at all. So Steph's going to be all right. So Steph's going to be there. I don't think this Clay is going to. They're not a good. Clay's team. not going to forget to shoot. It's not not right now, and they'll probably make the playoffs because of him and Draymond to a lesser extent. They'll, they'll make the playoffs. Who's to say what they can do around him? Maybe they move Wiseman. You know, they got Wiseman in a pretty premium pick, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they make Number a two. trade and, and get better. To just no, 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 not. Not Wiseman. I'm saying they have a a, a draft pick. Oh, another in their, one. Okay, in their asset arsenal. I yeah, I, I forget which yeah. team it's for, but it's, for, it's Minnesota. It's, there's dumb. some value to it. I it's Minnesota. Which team. Is do, it Minnesota? They do dumb stuff. There you go. Minnesota, stupid. Okay. <laughs> they are. So <laughs> they just like... Maybe they maybe they make a move with that pick. Maybe they make a move with Wiseman because Wiseman and Curry don't seem to mesh. But again, he's a rookie. All I'm saying is to write off Steph Curry and say what he can't do with the rest of his career. And I'm strictly talking about Steph. We'll see how they retool and, and, and repurpose the team around him. To write off Steph Curry and say what he can't do the rest of his career, I think is is a bad is a bad choice. Respectfully, well, not right now, Steph. Curry. Will they be I'm a dynasty again? Team. Will they go to four I'm straight finals or whatever? No, but they can win I'm another right championship with well, with him as the best player. They can win another championship. Mm, I don't, I, he can win another one. So maybe maybe it's, maybe, goes, maybe it's maybe a dynasty can. that was interrupted. Maybe it's. Uh, Maybe th those rumors of him going to the Lakers or something. Like, he, yeah, he could win somewhere else. He, no, he's done. They, they had a, 
They had a great run. It was a great run. It's over. Yeah. It's over. Done. Well, it's a great run he's on it's right now. It's appointment television. Uh, I, I will remember it for a long time, more so than who wins MVP this year. Because um, this is this is some this is the type of stuff that you you watch with your kids past their bedtime. You know, that's right. the type of, type of stuff that you look back. Remember when Kobe went crazy, when, when Jordan had that ridiculous triple-double stretch, you know, early in his career. We remember, we remember those types of runs um, when somebody, when they, when they got the game in the palm of their hand. So that's where, that's where uh, that kid from Akron is right now. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.